devastation to anyone who is personally victimized. Many people around the world are victimized each day, clueless to whether the person on the other side of the screen is really who they think they are. Debt, illness, and broken relationships are just some of the things that come along with catfishing. Here is Katie Forrester. She was victimized by a catfisher for nearly two years, and we interviewed her for her story. At first, I didn't think anything of it. I was at school, and my friends told me about this awesome online dating website, so I thought I'd try it out. Not being very popular, I thought it'd be a good way to get more friends. I tried it for a while, and I noticed someone was commenting on all my photos upon my appearance. So, I, you know, I was, I was flattered. I decided to contact them back. I talked to them for a little while, and he ended up to be this sweet, charming guy, but we didn't get that close because he would never send me photos of him. After a while, I started noticing weird stuff, and I just got so confused. Here is Catherine Landon, Katie's best friend, and she has a story to tell. <laughs> Am I supposed to say? <laughs> yeah. About a month went by before we started to notice any serious changes in Katie. She started to... Uh, <laughs> Well, complete up just like straight tell us that she couldn't go to the mall anymore. And we all believed her because apparently her parents put her on a budget. And that's what she said when she texted me this. Anyway, um, yeah, she wasn't allowed to go to the mall anymore or spend any money, apparently, because her parents had just gotten a divorce. And where was I going with this? I don't know, it's your story. Okay. That's what I was going to say. Okay, thank you. <laughs> After Landon realized what she was about to say and where she was going with the story. Well, her parents had just gotten a divorce and they she told us that they were moving into a trailer park. So that's why they had to stop giving her money. He claimed his name was Dylan, showed his photo as brown eyes and medium dark hair. We talked for about three weeks. And then he asked me for money which was a little bit weird, seeing as we're both teenagers. He claimed he maxed out his credit card and needed to pay his parents back. He said he would need to pay me back later on. He would transfer, I would transfer the money into his bank account, but I never really agreed. It was weird, I just didn't think it was right. Do you think it was strange to be giving someone money that you've never actually met in person? Yes, for sure I did. I had debts just like anyone else would have. Then why did you decide to go along with it? Because I was in love. Back. After a while, I decided to approach Katie. I told her that if anything was going on, that she, I would always be here to help. When I said that, she snapped and told me to leave her alone. That was not like Katie, because she never does that. I was happy about finding Dylan. I also went into a state of depression. I thought all my dreams were coming true, and I thought I should be happy. But something inside me was saying something different. I started to notice that that one became less interesting. One day I got home from school, leaving 20 messages on my phone, and they were all from Dylan. The very last message he had sent me was that he had been completely honest with me. And he wanted to break up. Was that the last time we heard from him? Yeah. The catfishers was out of Kitty's life taking $800 out of Katie's money with him and never paying her back. Be careful online, take precaution, and always, always think about the consequences.